On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We look at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. During the Soda Poppers' heyday, young Specs was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the Soda Popper who never missed a spot. Backstage, though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Specs' obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, You made me mess up! made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. Who could ever forget Wizard and his hilarious bathroom breaks? His time out for number one adorned lunchboxes all over the nation for the better part of the 70s. Behind the scenes, though, Wizard's bladder problems were no laughing matter. The writers learned early on never to give Wizard the only existing copy of the script. On the set, they even had a term for a script that needed to be redone. It's been whizzed. Oh, that wizard! He just charred my little pants off from day one. You don't even wear pants. Sure, not anymore. Four years after the soda poppers went off the air, Wizard desperately fought his addiction to designer bottled water, a war he would ultimately lose. The problem came to a climax one evening during a formal dinner at a posh Manhattan restaurant. Visibly loaded with water, Wizard publicly was unable to hold it in. Unable to hold it in all over the floor, most of the tablecloth, and even, ironically, the four-foot-tall ice sculpture of himself created specifically for the occasion. Coming up next, the soda popper known for a really big part of his anatomy. Audiences all over the world fell in love with Peepers and his cute big eyes. On the set, though, Peepers was not quite so beloved. While his high-pitched voice was a hit with audiences, it reportedly drove a number of his co-workers to alcoholism. Eventually, the show's director stopped bringing Peepers back in to loop missing dialogue, getting the needed lines simply by scraping his fingernails over a chalkboard. I never noticed the difference. Even after the show left the airwaves, Peeper's I Can See You warmed the hearts of all who heard it. All that is, except apparently the students of Our Lady of Butter Toast Girls School. Peeper's tenure as the gym teacher for the prestigious Catholic school came to an abrupt end when his familiar catchphrase was taken the wrong way in the girls' locker room. And coming up next, the child star who never was. Few, if any, remember the show that the Soda Poppers replaced. Culture's Clubhouse, hailed as television for the sophisticated 6 to 8 year old, fell victim to the Soda Popper juggernaut and was quickly scrapped. Its young star, Brady Culture, struggled to find work and acceptance in the wake of the show's cancellation. Unable to find another role, Brady dabbled in every religion, creed, and belief system he could find. Buddhism, Judaism, Pointillism, Scientology, Horsematology, Nerfmatology, Prismatology, and even Stinkmatology. But what ultimately became of Brady Culture? No one knows. Brady Culture's being lifted from obscurity by his former rivals? I think this qualifies as a baffling mystery, Sam. You may be right. Coming up next, we'll repeat everything you've just heard. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. Hmm. What you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. 
Listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. <laughs>